fixing some audio. Hopefully the uh, the buzzing should be gone. My lighting's a little bit worse, but I was able to, I think, fix the buzzing that was going on. Let me know if there's any buzzing or if uh, you can still hear it. Ooh, up against Musubi. Yo, let's go indeed. Such a medium hand, but we get to pitch two of these lands, I'm in. Andy Hype, let's go. Very excited about Indy. Curious to see how it turns out. Oh, we got a red black mirror. So harvesters can kill harvesters. I'm kind of fine with that. We got harvesters for days. Yo, early gang, let's go. Three to the dome, how we doing? Ooh, we might just be playing a Stone Cold Mirror. I actually wonder if they shoot here. Like, not shooting gives me the chance to shoot later. I also have a backup one. I'm gonna trade. Man, Indy's gonna be hype. Trespasser? Sure. All right, we got plenty of haunted ridges. Now we can block and discard a land if we want. Oh yeah. Got rid of the fatal push. Interesting. So they have another piece of removal. Yep. Yeah, I want to see how burn feels. Oh, I'm doing well. Uh, spent a lot of the day trying to get this mic issue resolved, but it seems like it might finally be done. Alright, we can pitch a uh, swamp here pretty freely. We're likely going to pitch this to a blood token here. Them having activations from their lands is a little tough. K command, ooh. Uh, I use... Actually, we can just Thoughtseize this now. Uh, pretty much all USB mic for me. Ooh, this is not a great hand for us to face. Take Chandra. Yeah, USB mic. It's off to the side here. This Harvester will be able to... Oh, it won't be able to because only have one blood token. That was their draw for the turn. We're in a little bit of a bad way, just in the sense that they have this. Oh, uh, I had a light fixture that was uh, giving off a humming that you could hear in the background. If you Only if you had your volume really high up. Just trade here. Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of this. There you go. Yeah, uh, there was. I have a second key light that was off to the side that uh, was giving off a buzzing, but you could only hear it if you had the volume cranked all the way up. But I'm generally pretty quiet, so I guess that was something people were doing pretty regularly. So I ended up in the situation where uh, you could hear this really high-pitched buzzing every time I talked. So I gotta figure out a way to, to balance that out. I think you just have to block, get the advantage of having the Chandra for an extra turn. We have four draws if we want. Oh, they have the Shatter Skull. It's a problem. 
All right, Crocs is like the best draw. We can also just get rid of their Trespasser here. All right, well, Chandra's a good one. Hello, Zelda. Oh, our own Chandra, but we're just going to do this. Just too quick of a clock not to do. Bone Crusher's fine, we can kill it. Yeah. Sorry, Zelda. You cannot walk on the keyboard, friend. Alright, so we get to kill Bone Crusher, kill Chandra. With this, they're on a two turn clock. Zelda, sweet cat, sweet, sweet cat. All right, plus. Okay. Have two cat beds, my friend. She really is just all about it. Do you, do you just need attention? That's okay. Even with just the attack, I think we we're fine. She is being a needy cat. All right, let's see. K command's good. Don't want the thought seizes. Go blanks aren't bad. Though really only hits the croxes. Don't want any of these. Don't need this. Thornbreath's interesting just because it's hard to answer. Oh yeah, Kiki Croxa, Kiki Harvester, Trespasser, they're just all, all pretty good. Fatal Push isn't bad, that's not the best. Oh, I do just want Go Blanks as like two for ones. What don't we want? We want our Planeswalkers. Bleedus is great, Trespasser. Bone Crusher is kind of medium, though it does kill Harvester, assuming we're in a true mirror. Maybe it's just push? Although I guess killing the Kiki enchantment might be nice. Uh, I like it against like blue-white control or uh, just any of the, the decks that primarily revolve around using white mana to interact with your creatures. You make it something like Winota, where you just want to not have your creatures ever get Brutal Cathard. This is also uh, a list that 5 owed this week. But I do quite like the Storm Breath as an idea. I'm going to try it without the feeds. Just rely on the Fatal Pushes, the Dread Boars, and the Harvesters to kill the, uh, the Kiki Jiki. Now, well, this hand's similar to our last one, but we don't have any creatures. Alright, this hand's much better. So, I think we're just getting rid of this push. I'd rather have our removal be back creatures. We can play this castle tapped on one. All right, well, that makes it easier. Would have just played this into this, so we had our whole thing lined up, but... I really don't like leaving Thoughtseize in in this kind of matchup.
I really don't. Like, I think this is just an attrition-based matchup where both of us want to cut our discard, but people seem to disagree with that. For sure. I'm going to play an untapped land because I can just blood away one of the excess lands here. We got a Chandra. Yep. Trespasser gone. I'll do this first. Ooh, Cletus isn't bad. Somewhat tough to kill a Cletus. And then we can do two spells next turn. I think we're going to do that. Tough enough to be able to kill a Cletus. And if they want to trade Chandra for Cletus, that's fine. Red, red. We got a Dreadbore. Yeah. K command, sure. Just two K commands. Oof. It's gross. All right. We'll cast this, assume they're going to kill this, and then we kill it back. That's fine by me. Yep. All right. Land lets us do both these things. I think I would rather play this Bone Crusher than try and buy something back right now. We have to wait a turn. Now we can start. Hopefully, we trade and then can just do this. No, nah, Dreadbore. All right, now we're under pressure. We gotta find something. If we don't find a spell in this draw step, we're in a little bit of trouble. All right, well. Get back the Harvester. We want to cast our spell here. Plus the trade and getting the blood token is nice. Mason Clark, how's it going, Mason? Nice to see you. You on your way to Indy? Thanks for the follow, friend. Appreciate it. Last card push, sure. It's like on Twitter where you're like, oh, I interact with that person. Driving up in the AM? That's not too bad. Hopefully it's not too far a drive for you. I'm doing good. Currently in a tough spot, but four hours, that's not too bad. No, I'm not going to Indy. I am getting married in uh, in May, so until that's done, I'm probably not going to too many events. Just trying to save up for it, as you do. I'll be hopefully playing some local events soon. It'll be nice. Thank you, thank you. We just had our nine-year anniversary of dating. Which apparently surprises some people, because I'm seemingly older than I am, apparently. Or they think I'm younger than I am. So, we would just trade with the Hive here. Taking six, not fun. Oh, we can't actually, it has Menace, yeah. We're gonna need to draw something with this. If they just send both at us, we take five. Definitely just chump. Where are these going? Soren me. I don't think we have an out. Is 
this blood? Yeah, K command's not gonna do it. Well, actually, let's us kill this. We take four, six. We don't have any creature we can buy back though, so we don't have two cards for this. What can we draw? All right, well, we're not actually dead, so I'll give it one more turn. Maybe there's something we can draw that I'm forgetting. I guess our own Graveyard Trespasser would just gain us some life and kill this. Maybe they just don't stand this up? Oh, that's... Alright, good enough. You got me, friend. Alright, game three. Still don't know if I love the thoughts eases from them. I like how we sideboarded. Like, I think we just needed to get ahead of the double, uh, double K command turn. All right, back. Yeah, getting to double K command our Kalidas on five was rough for us, but I think it was fairly close other than that. Is it 2-2? Two, two? Okay. Dying to K command in this year. And keep this. A lot of interaction. We'll draw a red source at some point, and if we don't, most of our cards are black. If we get this Thoughtseize, though, we're in trouble. Alright, then lead on it this time. Ooh, Castle's always a good one here. Again, somewhere in these attrition matchups, we gotta start getting these castles online. Push a harvester, eat the harvester after. Roxa. I'm just gonna get rid of this K command. Kinda want my lands here. It's actually a good land too. Trespasser eating Croxa. If they're on the same list, there's only two Croxas. Not too bad for us. Take the two for one. Push. And they can push back, but it's going to cost them two cards. And then we can just talk Anuma back. What are we thinking about here, I wonder? I mean, if they go to two cards in hand to kill this, I feel like that can't be good for them. Maybe if they have a K command, they do it because they can just buy this back. Yeah, they might push here, pitch something if they have a K command to buy this back. They pitch the K command, interesting. So we read them correctly for K-Command, but they got rid of it. Interesting to me. So they probably have a Chandra here. Go blank. Just get rid of our land and push here. Play land, pass. We can either castle or talk Anuma. Though with no graveyard, I'm a little bit hesitant. Just like slam talk Anuma here in case we miss. That's kind of a pain. Yeah, I'm definitely just going to draw here. Ooh. So I can Croxa Takanuma. But I can't do both. Could just Hive. We're not doing great into that race. So getting the 1-1s to block. How's it going, Tom? 
I guess we could play this. If we shock, we can talk Anuma in response to them trying to eat this. Probably gives us a chance. Flips what? Mills three? That's not that many, unfortunately. All right, I think I'm going to do this. Make them go down to one card in hand. On the attack, I'll talk Anuma. Ooh, they're at Dreadbore. Okay, they're looking for land. All right, so I think their last cards are Chandra. Chandra or Soren. Ooh. Oh, if we get Chandra. One, two, three, four. We don't have a blood to guarantee this flips. So if we get Chandra, we can kill this. But then they get to kill Chandra. I think we just have to do that. I think we do. I'm gonna take the Chandra. No. Wouldn't have hit something we could discard, so that's fine. Yeah. All right, I think their last card's a Chandra or a Soren. It is Chandra, okay. I think we can beat this. All right, one, two. Ooh, hold on, so one, two, three. We can hit this down to four. And go blank. All right, I'm in. Put Chandra down to one. Fatal push is the last card. All right, I mean, they can kill our Chandra back. But then we, it's just like a race of killing Chandra's. No, they're just going to try and kill us, probably. Oh, they are just going to try and kill us. No chance, right? I mean, this puts us to four. No, okay, they're going to kill Chandra. That makes sense. Trespasser's a good one. I think we just need to kill their Chandra. We're going to leave this back. I think we're ahead. We know we have a good spell. They don't necessarily know. Yeah. We're going to take two chump. Do we have a creature in the yard? We don't. There's no creatures in the yard at all. But Trespasser being able to trade here is important. Alright, we can do both. That'll flip this back. I'll trade. I could take three. Could either take three. Let's see where they attack. They've got to attack us, right? Yeah, I think we just try to survive. We're ahead with this. Block, block. All right, we go to three.
One, two, three, four, five, six. We could just kill both their creatures, but that feels kind of sketchy. But I don't want to die to a K command here. I'm going to plus here, see what we find. Trespass is our best draw, then Soren. Soren might even just be fine. All right, that was actually probably our best draw. So it kind of does everything we wanted. Just play the Takanuma. What are we trying to get to here? Shatter Skull. All right. Now we're dead to uh, dead to uh, K command if that's our last card. EDU, thank you for the follow. Greatly appreciate you. Oh, this is gonna be the meanest K command I've ever seen. They've already pitched a K command. Fire Pyro, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. All right, we're dead to K command. It's day, so we don't die to trespasser. No, Soren. Okay. We can kill the the 2-3, so maybe they just go to draw? They do. Okay, what do we hit? Land? Okay. Miss on land, or miss on creature. Four, five, it's only eight. One, two, three, four. And plus one more turn. All right. All right, we have them dead next turn either way, but I just don't want them drawing extra card. No fatal push. All right, you're up. I, we win if we don't die. I know that sounds... Okay, draw, th take three. Got him. All right, so his land cake and mammoths are out there. Woo! Damn, that was a close one. All right, so we pitch, we emblem. Woo! That was a tight one. Musubi's good, too. That was just a, a real fight. I'm kind of shocked they pitched that K command. Early in game three, we said uh, the play made sense to attack our, our trespasser if they had K command, and they pitched K command. I feel like that was a, a situation where had they kept the K command, they are just infinitely ahead. All right, we're on the play. Thought I'm wishing us some good luck. Well... We wanted to try this Kiki Jiki card. Alright, we're on the mull. If our opponent mulls, maybe we keep both thought seizes. They do. We're definitely keeping this hand. I think we just get rid of this thirst. Like thought seize anything that Bone Crusher can't kill. It's like double thought seize a mulligan. Alright, they're on a mull to five. Uh, the bot scrapes, scrapes the moto records. I never got deep enough in the understanding of it, to be honest, but I know that it scrapes, uh, records. I'm gonna shock here. 
We need both red and black, and I don't want to make the decision on this later. Ooh. Ooh, okay. White, black angels. I'm going to take the Valkyrie. Probably have to take this uh, powered kill. Or I guess we're just going to let this Bone Crusher die. That's fine. So, as long as this is a colored source, we're, we have all our sources, so I'm just going to play as black. Assuming we play both our uh, our lands here. We might not. Takanuma. Boo. Alright, that's fine. Take Bone Crusher. What do we want to draw here? I mean, how much do I care about this? But like, it's not getting any better. Uh, we're more likely to want to cast Takanuma, I think. I'm gonna play Sakenzen. Like, if we just draw another land, I think I'd rather play, like, buyback Takanuma, try and hit a Kroxa, and or just, like, buyback this Bone Crusher. Any Planeswalker off the top here would be great. Foretold cards. This is probably the 4-4 four, four Angel card. Any Planeswalkers? Nope. Alright, play this and pass. Yeah, really just looking for a... Uh... Rocks off this Takanuma, but we'll take any Planeswalker probably. Alright. Now we want Chandra specifically if we had to pick. Kalidus. Kalidus isn't bad. It's better than Bone Crusher, I think, here. Still would like a Chandra. Ooh. I think I just want to get Crocs at, or uh, Kalidus down. If we had more lands, I'd probably think about just slamming Croxa, but I think we just need to, to have the option if we draw a land or draw a removal spell to start taking over. This is the 4 4 Angel card. Yep. We get to take their last card, but we're in danger. Fatal Push would be a good one, except Chandra's a good one. All right, Chandra, kill this. Just buy back our lifelink here, because then if they attack this down, we get another three. And then hopefully Croxa can just take over. Would have liked to have hit the Valkyrie before they, they got the uh, unleashed, but... The Thoughtseize? Thoughtseize is actually terrible for them because it lets us buy back the Croxa right away. No, they just don't cast it. Alright. Yeah, it was the Thoughtseize. Elder Giant is not a vampire or a zombie. Could you imagine if you could just like eat Croxa with uh, Kalidus? All right, so 1616. And I have one draw step here. Land is not it. They attack us for two, we get in for six, and then we get in for 12. Yeah, Croxa just puts them so far behind here. Choose. Ooh. Well. Red, red, black, black. Get rid of everything we s can't ever talk Numa. Though we already used our one talk Numa, but don't we have to let our opponent know that? All right. I have no cards in hand. I'll just take my three life, please.
All right, land's going to be tough for them to win here. They're going to take nine. Excuse me. Second Croxo is just lights. That's also probably lights. They block here. We then get to kill it and then play the second main. Although I guess we don't even have to play this in case we're worried they like run Wraths, right? Yeah, we can just hold out because this is still lethal by itself. All right. The double thoughts used against them all to five. White Black Angel is an interesting one. <laughs> Get in here, Storm Breath. Your time to shine. All right, K Command's not bad. I don't think we need Duress. Thoughtsies goes. Rays are great. Right in the deck, Ray. Trespasser. Bone Crusher is probably not actually killing anything meaningful. Could play Feed. I think Feed's better. I don't know how much we need duresses. Would we rather K commands? I think K commands are probably better here. Pushes are a little on the loose side, but I don't mind them. Especially if we find our blood cards. Craig, don't you hit me with that think. Let me let me play my Stormbreath Dragon in peace. Let me have it. Just gotta, just gotta storm breath them. Ah, what's wrong with audio? Don't hurt me like this if it's actually just a troll. If you're trolling me, I'll kill you, Craig. In a video game. <laughs> Great. I sp whoop. The stream is offline, but it's not. There we go. I uh, I spent a good 25 minutes before the stream fixing the audio. Uh, good against Auras, good against anything that relies on uh, Skyclave Apparition or Brutal Cathar as your form of removal. Also the Wandering Emperor, Teferi, Fateful uh, Absence, Azorius Charm. You know, all those cards that are white that are used to take out your big threats. And if you run into White Black Angels, we're here. I'm just going to get this in tapped. Finally get to see how Fable the Mirror Breaker looks. I'm excited to see it with, like, Trespasser. Kill almost any creature here. Oh, especially Bishop. I hate Bishop of Wings. You ever have those cards that, are like, aren't... They aren't, like, particularly good. Like, they're not broken cards. But you just, like, hate playing against them. That's Bishop of Wings for me. Every time I play against this card, the game just goes 30 turns longer than it should. I don't know why it's one of those cards for me, but... Rip. Kind of sad, but... Oh, ho, ho. You don't say. How about we, uh, kiki-jiki some Storm Breath Dragons? Anybody down for that? Nice little 2 2 that makes treasures. So we get to attack, we can just soar in. Alright, already impressed. I can't play any music because I keep getting uh, copyright problems on uh, YouTube, even for DMCA free music. So if you see me jamming out, I have music on, it's just hidden. Really do apologize, but. DMCA be that way. Man, I cannot wait. I'm so sad this doesn't have haste. Alright, this looks like the Wandering Emperor to me. I'm gonna get rid of this Trespasser. It's not a bad one. I'm just gonna get in there. You're going to let me get the treasure token for your fatal push? Sure. 
deal. I'm just gonna make a vampire here in case they have a way to kill our Sorin. Get our value. This is a, a mistake from the opponent, but that's okay. Looks like they're thinking about Faithful Apparition. It could be D Spark, could be. Oh, is it just make a 4 4? This is the first time we've cast it, but I mean, conceptually, I quite like it. But this is the first time we've cast it, so it's not really something I can give too much insight into to start. Ooh. Uh, just the four, uh, just the four, uh, harvesters. All right. Pro white, let's go. Oh, what? Stop that. This is the list. Four Harvester, four Trespasser, Crusher, Fable, two Kalidas, four Walkers, two of each of these, four two. Just a just a clean one. Fatal push are a three drop. And it looks like they foretold a cart. No? Oh, there's just end step. Yeah, that, this is a three drop, friend. Giga Jank, Kiki Juki, my uh, my quick, uh, glory bringer. I'm in. Ah, uh, the double storm breath dragon against mono white or white black. Yeah, for those that don't know, with the uh, with the flip rule, this is a three drop. Don't uh, don't fatal push this one without revolt. All right, storm breath's on the board. We got him. Everything I dreamed of just happened. We got to Kiki Juki a storm breath. Opponent was kind enough to let it happen. Blessed opponent shows up with white black angels and then lets us play Kiki Jiki Storm Breath. Yeah, the saga seems really good. It's one of those cards that, like, I think the context people were talking about in modern might be a little bit too high, but like in Pioneer, where the power level is a little bit flatter, like, this card is very powerful. What do you mean? Where'd you go, opponent? Yeah, I think the power level on Pioneer being flatter makes this a much stronger card. And like, Bone Crusher, Harvester, Trespasser, all good copies. Storm Breast, nice. Man, we don't have Resto or Zealous Conscripts. I mean, it wouldn't work, right? Uh, Conscripts would, but... Um, and it would only work X times, as X is your mana, but... We don't have Deceiver Exarch. We have that blue one, that uh, corridor monitor. But again, it can only make X where X is your mana, so it's not as effective. Well, I do wonder like what the best things to copy with this are. I really just want to like make a Chain Whirler chain. Kiki Jiki out some Chain Whirlers. Oh, this hand's nice. I like what's going on here. I mean, if our opponent's playing a low to the ground deck, they're doomed. If they're playing anything else, we're going to have to <laughs> recover from these. Fanatic of Mogus is a good one. That Devotion deck was kind of bad, though. But I guess if you took away, if you, if you removed Boros Reckoner, 
Oh, it's humans. Okay. 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 I was going to say, this is a terrible hand against Lotus Field, but humans, easy. Yeah, copying uh, Mogus sounds phenomenal. I'm going to harvest her down. Humans. I got a lot of a lot of people who were saying that they disagreed with my take on humans not being very good. I'm gonna get rid of this thoughts use. Oh, sad. That's okay. We still have this dread boar for Mantis Rider. Missing on lands there is a little sad, but we'll we'll be fine. Maybe they'll like brutal Catharos. Ooh, well, that's gotta die. <laughs> we're just we're just gonna three two you to death if we don't draw any lands. Not another one. Oh, mantis, sure. I'll attack into the mantis rider. I don't mind trading here. Man. Alright, we'll offer a trade. No takers, huh? I mean, they missed a land, so I pitched Thalia. I actually thought Thalia is really good on this board because <laughs> I'm just stuck on lands, but this is a Coco. Yeah. Sure, sure. Well, if we draw a land, we could potentially clean up this whole board. Bump here. Attack. I was kind of hoping they'd just trade off here and then I could fatal push here, but they didn't just like eat this, which is the otter one to me. All right. All right. <laughs> Not looking good for us. Well, other things they could have hit, I guess. We are in a in a bad way though, just for missing lands. Though, like Soren, make a two three into Kalidus isn't bad. Are they gonna leave this back? Because this already stops the ground, right? A crack a clue. Lieutenant? Jeez. No, I think I have to kill this. A good last one for them. Uh. Block, block, six. Okay. Well, we'll just win with Croxa then. What do we die to? We died to Mantis Rider. That's eight. Yeah, we died to Mantis Rider. Uh, we died to third lieutenant. Yeah. Crack clue. They have two cards, but. All right, one's a land. They can't play anything else if they don't kill us, because Croxa will kill them. Adeline doesn't... Do oh, are you... Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Huh. That was That was the one we had to dodge, huh? Five, nine, yeah, we just die exactly two. Damn. Okay. All right. And like, I'm, I have to assume they wouldn't have cracked if they didn't have it already. All right, feed Ray. Or sorry, I have to assume they cracked looking for it. But even if they already had it. Alright, so we want these. Soren's kind of medium. 
Fable's probably okay, but I don't mind cutting one. Okay, command's probably a little slow. I like what is that? Man, we were stuck on lands for two turns, or not, yeah, for two or three turns, and we still were. Any card in their deck other than Reflector. Like, so they had two, two Lieutenants, three Mantis Riders, four Reflector Mages for their outs there. That's actually a pretty good handful. Can't be too mad about that. And like, if they just kept a thing in hand, they could attack us for five twice, but we get to soaring get a blocker and they have to chump and get rid of a card in hand felt really favored there but i think if we hit land three on time we win but all right take the play tan's great play this in tap so we can hive on turn two with bone crusher i'll be sad if we draw another fast land but we have turn three off right now all right. Human. The 3-3, three, three, I'll be sad. It is. Yeah. I am just going to shoot this off of their face. Ooh. That makes me regret that a lot. It's like if they reflector mage this, I really don't want to deal with that. I'm just going to kill this and make it look like I have another Bone Crusher. Not in a rush. The Chandra can handle a Mantis Rider. Yeah, it's a Mantis Rider. Yep. So Chandra kills this. They have to have another Mantis Rider to kill this. Otherwise, we get to just Storm Breath them. We have Fable to go to. As well. Shandi. Right, they could have a Coco here, but it still has to hit Mantis Rider to kill this. Yeah. No Mantis Riders in chat. They're thinking about it. I wonder what they hit. Okay. It's not a bad one. Not bad at all. Could just slam the Storm Breath. Could just play two of these. Could just play Trespasser Fable. Yeah, I think we're playing two three drops here, but which ones? A trespasser. Making a two two doesn't actually do anything against this. So they play like Reflector Mage, this is gonna be a four, so I wanna play the Bone Crusher. I'll let Chandra die, and I would probably just double block the Adeline if they do nothing here. Like, well, this could just be another Coco. No, yeah, okay. There's the Reflector Mage. Probably bounce the Bone Crusher. No, they're gonna pitch a card for this. It's fine. I'm not willing to trade here. Yeah. All right, well. We'll Storm Breath go. Hopefully next turn we can just play two Trespassers and just like lock up the board. And they can tack out. Eat a 2-3, take 6. 
Trespasser buys us some life again. I mean, they could just attack with Adeline. Now they run out. All right. Yeah, we can't take those forever, but we're buying back some life. And actually, this will eat four. We only have one more creature, right? But we can eat one of our own if we really want. I think we just do that. Four puts them to nine. I think I'm in on this. They're just dead next turn to attack, 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 or a uh, monstrous attack. Storm breath. Could just double block. But I'm fine with just eating their 1 1. I mean, they need to get rid of two cards in hand, otherwise, this monstrous could just kill them. Monstrous, yeah. We got a Coco. Valorous Stance. Wait, all right. So there's Valorous Stancing to get rid of a card, two cards in hand. That's kind of kind of funny. Yeah, you go to two. Now we block the Adeline. They can't kill the the Glutton. Yeah. Yeah, they can't deal with the Glutton just because of the ward, so we just get to block and they die. That's neat, though. Valor stands to pitch two cards. Sure. You're in there, bud. I'll block. I would like to kill you, please. Storm Breath. Storm Breath. Adeline, still good. Storm Breath, still good. Yeah, I don't think we need this. Rob Meadows, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. I like how we're sideboarded. I think we just gotta find some some earlier removal for Adeline. Man, Storm Breath showing up here. Getting to just eat eat creatures and then deal, what, 14? Might even dealt the full 18, I think. Did we get one attack in before? Yeah, I dealt 18. <laughs> so we killed them with the, uh, the Bone Crusher to their face and some Storm Breath as far as a full 20. Big fan. Man. We have a, an ESPN bracket going. I have seven for seven to start, but UConn and Kentucky got me, so now it's going to be a lot closer. But unfortunately, one of the, uh, the people in our bracket had uh, Iowa winning. They uh, got upset. By Richmond, and then they had uh, UConn in the Final Four, so their bracket is in shambles. Yeah, okay. We got interaction. We got Storm Breath Dragon. Oh, it's not a bad one. I was gonna play this. I don't want to shock, but I do want to have a uh, interaction up on one. Green, green. Yep. You're in there, friend.
Ooh, Cletus is another good one. Making the treasure off of this is actually kind of relevant in a deck like this, where you do kind of need all your mana. Alright, so this could be a Mantis Rider. Yeah. Kind of want to just kill the Mantis Rider. Keep the board clear. No, I definitely do. I'll take the three. I'm going to play this as red. Do they have another one? That would be bad for me. Yeah, they do. All right, we're at 11. If we draw a land, we're fine, though. We don't. We could do this, look for the land, or we could just play this. Hope they don't have a Reflector Mage. Three in hand. I think I'm just going to do this. I'm going to pass. See what we might need to hit here. Uh, well, I can block the 1-1, one, one, so that's fine. I think we're just going to have to get rid of Fable here. We're definitely uh, getting low here. Oh, that's so brutal. Three, six. Hmm. I think we just have to kill these things. Take three. Kill this, and we have Chandra to kill this next turn. Hope we're just not dead. The third Mantis Rider gets us. Even uh, Lieutenant doesn't. Crack Clue. Land. No Cocos, no Mantis Riders, please. We'll go to two. Alright, we're at two. We play Storm Breath. We play Chandra. Maybe just play Chandra. All right. I'm just going to hold back. I guess we died all their haste creatures anyway, so maybe again, the three ends fine, but. All right. I think I'm just going to play Kalidus. We'll Storm Breath next turn. Nope. Alright, gotta dodge Coco and Mantis Rider for one more turn, and I think we have it locked up. Oh, casting spells is bad. Nope. Oh, this looks like Mantis Rider. It is Mantis Rider. The third one off the top, huh? That's that's so unfortunate. Like so many things had to go wrong for us to lose there. All right, so it goes. If we play Storm Breath that turn and they miss, then we don't lose there because we just leave Storm Breath back. So like instead of playing Chandra and killing it, we just play Storm Breath. Assume they can't get in, untap, then Chandra kill it. Instead of playing Kalidus, we still win there. So like that could beat the Mantis Rider. I guess like beating third Mantis Rider is probably worth doing there as like a consideration. Cause like we're not dying to anything else. Yeah, so I think instead of playing Chandra and killing it, I'm just supposed to play Storm Breath pass. Then next turn, Chandra kill the one that's already out, and then we don't die to top deck Mantis Rider anymore. Meaning, I don't think we can die to anything. 
Okay, that's on me then. I think that sequence uh kills us. They had like six outs, but it still ended up being two outs. So like they had two outs to punish us, but we could have given them zero outs. So that's on me. Sad. Hate losing to humans. I don't don't think it's a great deck, but so it goes. Storm Breath still looking good. Feed really hurt us there. Taking six off feed was rough. We need to find a ray over a feed at some point there too. I do quite like the the build. All right, let's bounce back. Oh, Luxury, big fan. All right, sounds great. We're on the draw, so this push will be good. Looks like we're against Mono Green Karn or Mono Green uh, Beats. And is very good into that deck. Be able to kill a Kiora too, which is kind of nice. Oh no, it's just Gruul. Gruul. Oh, it's Winota. Even Sadger. Alright, well, we're just going to kill all of your creatures in sequence and hope that you can never resolve anything meaningful. How's that sound? No, stop with the... Innkeepers. I mean, we also need to stop missing lands on turn three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I cast your Winota. Ugh. Need this to be like anything but the 6 6. Well, I said, <laughs> I can't even block here because it. No, I can trade. It's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. All right. So you're saying we have a chance. Not a good one, but a chance. Right, I'll take four. No, no chariot. All right, we need to get this Kalidus down. This is going to be 8 damage. I'll tease, ain't it? Uh, Alright. We could block here. Take 4 first strike. Sure. All right. Yeah, you have an extra cat. Lock here. First strike. Oh, I wanted to kill this. Yeah, I think we're just dead. Yeah. All right, well, drawing third land's important in a mid-range deck, turns out. All right, raise, K commands. Bring this in. Thoughtseize. Fable Soren. All right. We just, we need to hit our third land. All right, this hand's fire. Lead on black, red, black, red. All right. Ray is such an upgrade in this kind of matchup. Just being able to hit the Winota always. 
Get out of here. Ooh. That's good. Let's us potentially kill a two drop without having to use removal. Okay, no two drops. Good for us. Gonna play the Fable. We want to accelerate into our Storm Breath and just get him dead, I think. Sure. I mean, could just hit this. No, it takes this. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna choose not to. Discard two. Get back our our lad. And then we'll get a treasure. So even though we miss the mana, it's not too bad. Let's just hold up Ray in case they just like try to slam a Winota, but it's gonna be tough now with this on four. Chariot, sure. We just have to make sure to never let a let them have Ray up. I think we just do this. Get another treasure. Yeah. They can't crew this because we can just sack afterwards and, and kill their thing. So this giving this haste is just a machine gun. Yeah. Get out of here. Ooh, I don't think we want to block here. It's fine. One, two. We're just doing this. Eat the Winota. Copy a Trespasser. Eat this. Get in there. Yeah, trade, trade, six, six, go to two. Even if they Winota crew get two triggers, we shouldn't die. Even to like six, six double strike, we just block the six, six. Yeah, it's fine. So six, six double strike, we block the six, take 10. Uh, next worst is Brutal Cathar 6-6, six, six, and we take 10, 12, 14, and kill them on the crackback. Yeah. Uh, that just leaves you dead, right? Just block here. Yeah. Alright, game three. We didn't have to show him Storm Breath. How do we feel? I guess killing all the cats isn't bad, plus the... It kills elves... Elves, treasures, cats. Is that worth it? Three mana? Probably not. Yeah, probably not. I don't think so. I think we just gotta... Just gotta kill him. Kill all their creatures and kill them.
Yeah, having Rave Enfeeblement really does add to our ability to, to not just die here. Well. Keep this hand. We can kill a one drop on two. We'd love to draw any one drop and will spell here or them not have a one drop. Now they have the elf. We need a fatal push. All right. We're going to kill this, and then hopefully it's enough. Now they have the Innkeeper. Spellbinder. All right, Spellbinder is fine. Take one of these. Shoot down the Elf. Yep. Still going to need to draw that third land, though. Keeps vexing us. This will cost four. All right, no. It's also human, so we're not too scared of Winota right this second. Fatal push is good, especially because we'll hopefully have blood up for Winota. Really need it to be Winota, not Chariot. Star is fine. Not great, but fine. Land. All right, I think we just got to look for lands. Uh, all right. <laughs> it's not great. Oh, uh, come on, man. We're just literally dying to... All right. I'm going to make a calculator risk here, I think. If they just attack with the two cats, then sure, they're smart. But I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to assume they're going to make the wrong move here, because I think it's our only out is them to, to play greedy. Oh my god. What are lands and where can I find them? All right. Uh, kill this. All right, you're up. It's like the one turn we don't have Ray up. No, no. I'm gonna need them to miss. That's about as close to missing as we can get realistically, so I'll take it. Land is our best friend here. Let's go. Eat Winota. Kill Winota. All right. No six drop. Take it. Croxa. Get in there. First change, post-league, adding one more land, maybe? All right, put this here. We're not using the blood. But... All right, let's go. Eat Winota. Yes, I'm I, like, what do you, what do you, what do you think I think you had? You have six mana in your deck that would cast any spell you drew. What, what is it you think you're showing me? Hey, how's it going, Kane? It is. I like it a lot. Have my own little office, which is nice. Uh, we were playing a mirror, actually. <laughs> so, uh, only as spicy as this deck. Yorian. 
One Sky Noodle, huh? I think I'm gonna mulligan this against Yorian. A little better. Hope Chandra can carry us, but it depends what, what Yorian deck they're on. They're on Enigmatic or Agent, probably rough. Get out of here, basic. Opponent goes, I'm going to YouTube. Maybe. No promises. Ooh. Is this going to be another Storm Breath kind of game? No, it is. It is uh, enigmatic, huh? All right, we got to get him dead ASAP because we are not winning a long game. Although with push and bone crusher, we might be able to fight through some things. The beautiful planes, my god! All right, I'm gonna shock in case giving them black is meaningful. I guess they already have black here, so I guess that was just wrong. That's fair. I always forget presence. Yeah, this would have done nothing. All right. If they don't hit us with an enigmatic or a fires here, I'm not feeling too scared. Moonblessed cleric would be a little rough, but presence? That's not scary. We really just need to close here. Six a turn isn't bad, plus we can shock play. We could deal eight this turn. Should have played a land, but we don't have any fives in the main, so it doesn't actually change anything. Post board, though. Alright, get in there. We have him dead next turn. This, uh, okay. Omen. We gotta dodge fires, enigmatic, or something that interacts with our board. Two to the bottom. That's good for us. Ah, uh, you know, the classic mid range start of just attack him to death on turn six. This is enigmatic. Enigmatic, probably Saxa 2, gets a Skyclave. Or a Deputy, yep. Well, they already used their Deputy, so it's... Uh, I mean, if you have access to everything, I would be playing Winota or Phoenix. Yeah, there's the Skyclave. Hey, we'll take that. All lands in hand, huh? We going for the no blocks? Yeah, I would be playing Winota tomorrow. But I know that you are good on Phoenix, so that's also always a good choice. Chain of the Rocks, how rude of you. I think the thing is, like, Winota's one of those decks that, like, people always are, like... They're always, like... Uh, I want to have a good Winota matchup, and I think the number of decks that have a good Winota matchup are much smaller than people give credit for. Like, I think other than Blue Red, there aren't a lot of decks that have, like, purely good matchups into Winota. Like, this can is, I think, a positive matchup, but it's not so positive that you can, like, just guarantee a win. Gain for life, how rude.
little three three. Ooh. Anything good on top here? Well, could just sh I guess we'll just Chandra. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't play Phoenix if you worried about Blue White. I think Blue White is definitely not a good matchup for you anymore. I'm just gonna kill this, get in for three, put them to five. The Yorian blink these two. Then we have the Matsudo one. Yorian can't kill by itself here. Yeah, I think I think blue white is actually a tough matchup for Phoenix at this point. At least that's what I I've, I've been hearing from my friends playing blue white between wandering emperor, rest in peace and just all the tools like uh march. Moonbase cleric. What are we going to do with this? Oh, Hullbreaker horror too. That's fair. Cycle chain. All right, well. This can get a three. Do they have another three? Oh, chain to get a two. Draw card. Play this first. Plus, all right. They have four damage on board. We know they have Yorian, Trium. Yeah, Holberg is a bit of a messed up magic card for sure, for sure. I feel like every time I play against that card, it's just a miserable play experience. Ooh, upkeep sack omens gotta be good for me, right? One on top, one on bottom. That's not good for me. But I wonder what they keep here. Could be land fires so they can still Yorian, but that's not good enough, right? Four, five. Oh, Elspeth conquers. <laughs> uh, stop gaining life, opponent. My god. Opponent has just like stabilized after stabilized after stabilized. Get a three drop. We need to draw Bone Crusher Giant here. I want a natural draw it so our Chandra can still go upstairs. Moon based, okay. Yeah, that's fair. Well, the thing about Hullbreaker is it's like really, really good when the meta slows down, which right now we're not quite there. But if you're playing Phoenix, it's sort of always there. You're not a Bone Crusher Giant at all. All right. Man. Opponent gained six life here. I guess we'll die. Only way we win is if they just spend send exactly this at Chandra. No, never lucky. Never lucky. All right. All right, we don't have any more Chandra's left in the main. So our out is Croxa if they have nothing or Bone Crusher. That's assuming they don't like. Could get a Scarab God. Yeah, they get a Scarab God and then can Knight of Autumn. 
Or just Yorian. Alright. No, there's no meat hooks in the 75. Boo boo. That's okay. Man. Go blank, feed the swarm, duress. I don't think we need these. K command's fine, but not great. Oh, you're right. You're right until our inset. Oops. That's on me. What is a brain? Where can I find it? All right, get rid of these. Maybe we don't need the full eight. I feel seven. Uh, which list, Caesar? The uh, the enigmatic list. It is probably a little mopey. Most of the time, they're just dumping their hand. I think this Ripblock list is interesting. I don't know if it's specifically tuned well for the meta, but it's pretty interesting. Hmm. I'll keep this. Almost a six. I think I'm just going to lead on Ridge. I care most about their four drops as when I get this down to hopefully try and ensure we get land drops and start putting pressure on. Oh, red, black. Like if they know Leah's presence, that's fine, or Omen, that's fine. Naturalist. I thought sees them first, then see. Oh, they have nothing in hand? Could just like... Yeah, kill this. Run out the next one. Keep our dread boar around. Didn't put your into hand there. Just want some lands. Nope. They're just going to cycle triumph. Yeah, that is the one thing that just keeps happening is we just keep getting stuck on on our land situation. Now we can draw Fable here. All right, well. Chandra down. All right, well. We're at 12, seven, seven. Omen, sure. One top, one bottom. So that's probably a uh, probably a fires or an enigmatic. That's what I'd assume you keep there. Cycle. Just main phase cycle. Interesting. Okay. Well, show me what you got. Yeah, fire is enigmatic. I'll take the enigmatic. Get in there. Omen? Sure. Alright, I think we're on to game three.
one to top, one to the bottom. Enigmatic, sure. Gets a three, takes out the Chandra. And then we just dread boar. There. Game three. Ooh. All right, still think we're pretty confident on these. So like Mopey two drops, I don't think we want to care about. I think we just have to stop them from doing anything too powerful. No, I like where this is at. Yeah, sounds great. Would I take a creature here? Like, if I do this, I could take their two drop creatures. I think I'd be interested in considering it. I'll take presents. Take the card that cycles. I don't want to protect this more than I care about this. Like, if they put the trial to kill this, that's fine. Table Breaker, interesting. All right, well, I kind of want to kill that for sure. What do I want to do here? All right, I'll start by dressing them. Take the trial because we have feed the swarm in. Stomp this. All right, they can pitch two lands here. They do pitch two lands, including one they drew. We want to get this down too. We're ahead on board, but they have plenty of action. They could chain this. Yeah, Fable's really good. Fable's very good. Been one of the more impressive cards so far. Yep. What do we want to do here? One, two, three, four, five. So this will flip. Then they could buy back chain. I think I'm just going to play my own fable here. I don't think we have to feed the swarm this right now. So that's flipping anyway. Yeah, I think it's very good, just like as a general card, but I think, yeah, it does probably need a specific set of set of other cards to be useful. That's fine. Are they missing land here? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, rude. Okay. Kill that. Kill that. I think Gloom's probably a problem.
Yeah. What are we getting back here? Could just get back Fable. Get back Trial. Yep, yeah, Fable. All right, they're going for value. Makes sense. This gives me a shot to kill this next turn. All right. We have a chance to just machine gun down their team. Looking forward to 3 drop. You hate to see it. Oh, come on. The draw is just trial. Oh my, this, we know, <laughs> know the card is Fable. Man. So we have to hit like a discard spell here. Or probably just doomed. Man. This is definitely one of the reasons I dislike playing against this deck. You just get to the late game, and it's just kind of impossible to grind through. Yeah. Yeah, enigmatic. Take four, attack this, get a three. Yeah, this isn't the matchup I think you want to play at all. But losing to humans earlier definitely is a feel bad. Yeah, Enigmatic is definitely one of those decks that it when it's doing its thing, it's tough. Tough to beat. <laughs> so we can kill this and die. And we know their last card. It's the, just everything they had. Damn. Yeah, it's not OP. It's just... Hey there, thanks for stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed this content on either Twitch or YouTube. If you did, please like or subscribe. If you didn't, be sure to leave a comment down below. I promise not to read it. Until next time. Yeah.